What's 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 the short version of Wallow's masterclass on how to reach and grow an audience in 21? Uh, you got audience and you got community. A lot of times audiences, they sway. You got to try to build a community. Community is your people. Them your diehard people that's going to rock with you. You know what I mean? They're going, hmm. they're going, they're going, you know, it's a difference between the audience. It's a difference between the community. It's a difference between uh, fans, haters. All of that shit is necessary to win. You need, you need a good, you know, it depends on how many followers you got, but you need a good 20% to be haters. You know what I mean? Because hate they, they marketers. Haters is your marketing team. They're going to go tell people about you and why they don't like you. And if you got something good going on, when they go tell the people they don't like you and the people go back to your page and you got something to land on, they're going to start fucking with you. You know what I mean? And then you're going to need like a real audience. 50% of them people got to be, your, I mean, community. 50% of them people got to be community. Then the rest can be a part of the audience because audience sway. Uh, you know, the audience for... Uh, for some of these artists is from two years ago, them artists going, they somebody else audience now. Mm. But when you think about community, uh, Tyler the Creator got a community. Major. J. Cole got a J. Cole got a community. Yep. Uh uh Kendrick Lamar got a community. Kanye West got a community. Some of these other artists, they just got audiences. Because that community is the people that if you go quiet and you ain't putting nothing out, and out of nowhere you come up on your you know, you put a documentary out or you put something out on, it's going to go to number one because your community is never leaving you. You're a part of their life. So they're going to keep mm -hmm. you there forever. You know, it's people that's just like, they, you know, they love Metallica. They got yeah. a community. Yep. No matter when they drop, they going on tour, they shit going to sell out. Oh my God. Because, you know, it connects, certain people know how to connect people with memories. And you can build a community like even with me. Uh, you know, it's people that got memories with me when I help them get through a moment or they seen a video. So that's a memory that's going to live with them forever. You know, so when you it's different, you can build the community. You just got to be you every day uh, and you got to get them something that they can hold on. Not nothing, something that's a wave. A lot of people be having audiences, but a lot of them audience be waves. Hmm. They be moments. That's you good. know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's good. good. That's yeah. That's I mean, I mean, <laughs> That's a bar. Um, okay, we're gonna get another mini master class based off our conversation. Mm -hmm. Podcasting. Okay. You have the number one podcast and people have been trying to get on the charts forever, wanting to start a podcast. Talk to the people real quick about how to start, but how to monetize as well. Cause I think you flip a just content and audio so perfectly that it, it makes a bag in 2.3 seconds? Uh, well, with a podcast, first, you got to have an audience or a community of people that's going to push your stuff because everybody now, if you got people that's going to push this, first of all, it only take a couple hundred dollars to start. You get a Zoom recorder or you can do it on your phone. It depends up to you. Or you can buy some serious equipment. You know what I mean? Some serious equipment. Ooh. What is that? Four, five know, cameras right but, there? Yeah, it's four of them, big boys. Yikes. Yikes. Big boys. Yeah. Uh or you could or you could uh or you can uh shoot on your phone, get a zoom record off of Amazon. Shit shit is real inexpensive. Then you gotta pick what what uh, platform you wanna use. Uh do you wanna go with uh Buzzsprout? I went with Buzzsprout, they give you all the data with every city bank and they put you on every platform, it's just like Disco Kid for music. Uh the way you can monetize quick, and we was able to monetize from the rip, is get some sponsors. Mm -hmm. Find companies in your community. It could be a small business because of the clothing brand. It could be a gas. It could be anything. Gas station. We had funeral homes. We had hair companies. We had trucking companies. We had uh, uh, towing companies. We had all type of motherfuckers that I was just fine. We were fine. So uh, you went local first. You didn't go for the yeah, big always. boys. Yeah, I went local because I was already doing commercials for people. Yeah. Car dealerships. Uh, you know what I mean? Springfield, Hyundai. So, you know, you see all that. Now, when we talk about charting, charting is a battle with yourself. A lot mm -hmm. of people see when they're beating yourself. When one of your first highest shows is going to be your first show because it's not going up against the prior shows. Yes. It go higher when you did more numbers than shows prior. So, that's how, so you're battling with your averages. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And that's how you get go up on them charts. And you just got to be consistent. Some people can beat the charts up because they put so many episodes out that it pushed the album because they – 
is the consistency. Like we only do 52 a year, once a week. But you got other people that's going to do two or three a week. You know what I mean? To us, that's oversaturated. We don't want to burn the people out. All right. I, I let, I'd rather let you look to me every week. The biggest shows in life, they was only once a week. Yeah. Cosby's, Jefferson's, whatever you was watching. You know what I mean? So I'd just be like, we cool once a week. Makes sense. I know, I know you uh, inspired Earn Your Leisure. I was watching their their mm-hmm. interview and they're like, yo, I talked to Wallow. Like we started our, our podcast through the phone. They recorded that thing through the phone, simple mm-hmm. mics, and they like top in the business po- po- uh, podcast charts. Yeah, so. they're big boys. They're fucking big boys. Yeah. Because yeah. you just got to go. Like, like even with us, we, us, Earn Your Leisure, we got into the game like early but late. Yeah. Because, you know, Joe has been doing it. A lot of people text home. A lot of people been doing it. Yeah. Uh, I think Ice had one, Nori had one. So you had a lot of people doing it. But we got in it early on. This generation is moving now. Mm-hmm. This movement of podcasts. We we like the we became like the uh early people in that that right now generation. Yeah. The people that's pushing. You know what I mean? So it's like you got people that's doing it, man. You know, so it's like, you know, it's just a push. But you know, you just gotta do it. That's it. 